quiet, unassuming, reserved. Those are the words that can best describe world featherweight champion Steven Uevano outside of the ropes. But there is nothing to mirror about his demeanor inside of the ring. When I meet people out on the street, they'd be like, oh, you don't seem like if you're a really mean person or anything. Of course, his opponents have a different impression, especially Nikki Cook. Despite Cook's taunts and threats, the ever-reserved Luevano demolished Cook in an intense 2007 bout, earning the East Los Angeles native the right to be called champion. He was going to rough me up, so it, it was an easier fight for me because he came at me, I didn't have to go after him. And um, I just started catching him with body shots, and after that, it was just easier from there. That was a big big thing to do, you know, go to somebody's hometown, you know, nobody there to support you but your, your corner and, and, and win the title and not only win it but, in, you know, impressively, you know, knock him out in the 11th round. Since then, Luevano has been a marked man, four title defenses, none tougher than against Mario Santiago, which ended in a draw. I didn't fight my fight, I fought his fight. I should have listened to my corner and my instincts on how to fight instead of listening to the crowd. Hey, come to me. Okay, there you go. Okay. because everybody wants to see a, a fight, a fight. Like, everybody just all bloody and beat up and bruised. And um, I shouldn't have did that. He tried to prove something to the crowd, to the judges, to, to the fans, you know, to the media. That's, that's not his style. For Luevano, his bond with Garcia goes deeper than just fighter and trainer. Oh, he's a really good trainer. He's a really good trainer. Um, he's... Um, I know he's, uh, he was a, a former IBF world champion, and um, he has all that experience to bring on to me. And um, he lets me know, like, oh, what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. You gotta I'm, be I'm very careful, careful with a straight leg, okay? Man. He's still, he's, he's, he's still so tired. Come on. He's just down. down. He's all tired. Hands up. Let's go. Stand up and move your head. Move, 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 and move your head. Come on. Two, three punches at a time and move your head, okay? Please. He's tired too, okay? You gotta, come on. Suck it up and let's move your head. Not only that I'm, not only that I'm his trainer, but I'm also, I'm also his friend. And I like to have the relationship with my fighters because I don't want them to just, just see me in the gym and just, just know that, uh, that you know they're there to work out and, and I'm there to push them hard. You know, I, I also want them to know that hey, you know, we all have lives and, uh, and uh, after the fights, you know, we could, you know, do fun stuff. Once again, Luevano becomes the target when he defends his title against rising star Barnaby Concepcion an opponent he feels is perfect for him. My style of fighting is a boxer puncher, uh, a counter puncher, because I could either wait for you to, to make a mistake or I could make you make a mistake. His style, he's a, he's a little bit shorter than Steven, comes right at him, which will, will make an exciting fight. You know, uh, I think this is where uh, Steven shows what, what, uh, what, he's, what he can do, what he knows how to do. For Concepcion, this is an opportunity of a lifetime it's going to be the most important fight of my career because this is my first world championship fight. Bernabe Concepcion is aggressive, punches hard, and will take the fight to this stylish southpaw boxer uh, in Luevano. So when you put all that together, what you get is this ball of energy coming at you that can make anything happen at any moment in the fight. Being from the Philippines, Concepcion is aware of the expectations from fans who think he could be the next Manny Pacquiao who also happens to be his manager, but he does not let the hype affect him. I just want to think about it. it's my time. Concepcion may lack world champion experience, but he will be ready for anything that Luevano throws at him. My style is uh, just a puncher, just a, I'm a boxer. I can move out, I can move in. My jab is my best punch, because I just quick with it and 
it's always in your face. Their jab is going to be our main weapon. Loeveno is aware that Concepcion may try to close the gap. The larger strategy remains for Loeveno to keep Concepcion at bay. I'd rather keep it at a distance, but I'll be ready for for anything because we've been training for for that also, just in case he would to get in some matter, he would to push me up against the ropes and how I would be able to step out and push him away right away just to take that fight back into the middle. I just want to train hard, so I just want to get this belt. I just want to just want to be a champion. I don't think he's been knocked out or knocked down. I'm not sure, but yeah. Yeah, I feel like I heard him.